I think it's important for tribes to exercise their sovereignty and to be in control of their own destiny. A tribal electric utility is very beneficial to the Pueblo of Acoma. It gives us our ability to manage our own power. Aside from you know our co-op that we're currently with, we're restricted to their pricing and their hike in utility costs. Sovereignty, right? You're, it's a tribe's inherent right to exercise its own sovereignty. And what I mean by that is being in control of the energy decisions here on the Pueblo, being able to being able to go out and shop and market for the cheapest power, uh, passing that that low price on to the community, being able to control where where the reinvestments and the capital improvements happen. All of those things that we're taught as tribal leaders by our elders um, played into that role. We had several issues with businesses, residential, and um, just basically the co-op trying to maintain and maintenance our current lines and poles here so at that point the tribe finally made a decision to move forward and develop their own electrical utility. What's going to happen to the Pueblo of Acoma's electric utility once we get this going? Well I think after we establish our electric utility and we're up and running we're going to take over the world. Our own world here. The co-op that we're currently breaking away from did give us a hard time in moving forward in trying to make it look like Acoma was, you know, going to really damage their co-op by us leaving. Because I think they had ulterior motives. So some of the challenges we faced early on was educating the community on what our intention was. I think that there needs to be an understanding for all tribes as they negotiate right away agreements across their land and across trust land, that they've got to hold these entities accountable to giving and providing fair value to that right away for those tribes. There was a lot of legal challenges that had taken place to make this happen. It's in our favor now, and so we're moving forward. The Pueblo of Acoma's relationship with Avant Energy um, started early on. I think we were out there uh, looking to establish those partnerships and Avant Energy came to us and we took a look at their background and they've done this before. They've got the capacity, they've got the capability, they've got knowledge of doing this type of work in Indian country. They were coming at a lower cost and also develop uh, substations as well to provide power to the Pueblo of Acoma. So what's next after that? I think it's important for us to be able to provide more jobs, to be able to um, enable and ensure and facilitate business development, community development. When you're in control of your own utilities, that puts you in a position to foster, facilitate, coordinate that community-wide development. The, the state of New Mexico wants to be 100% renewable energy and, and, and reduce our carbon footprint here in New Mexico. By starting a tribal electric utility now, I think, I think we're gonna be in the forefront to be able to provide or fill that gap, uh, that need for renewable power. I just wanna say thanks. Thank you to all of the individuals within the utility authority, within the tribal council, this electric utility authority, the switch is going to be flipped and I'm proud to be Acoma. I'm proud of those individuals that are in those um, positions. I'm proud of past leadership. Um, just keep it going and understand um, the lessons learned. Understand it's okay to be held accountable. It's okay to disagree as long as we all cross the finish line together.